Phillies fans were also glued to the World Series action all across South Jersey. Let's continue now with Eyewitness News South Jersey reporter Brandon Goldner. He hung out with fans watching the game in Haddon Township. Brandon. Hey, Yuki and Jess, it's quieted down a little bit, but still a number of people out here on a school night, on a work night to watch the Phillies play. From workers. They said, you know, I got to get out of the house. I got to start doing more things, so here I am. To hardworking parents. Just a bunch of moms in survival mode. To students. It's two nights in a row, unfortunately. I think she has a test tomorrow. Everyone at PJ Wellahans in Haddon Township is staying up late to watch Game 4 of the World Series. And within this one bar, dozens of different stories of how people fell in love with the Phillies. We're big Phillies fans. The, uh, the atmosphere is electric in town. Jeff Coker's daughter Smythe was four months old when the Phillies won their last World Series. So we're hoping to do it again. Obviously, she's a little older, so maybe this time she can enjoy it for herself. Lucy Setti and Diana Vidro went to last night's game in person, and they didn't want to watch tonight's game at home. I've been coming here since day one. If I'm out in the park, I'm here. Yeah. That's, that's, I'm not watching at home. Yeah. It's bad. I, I've been watching it away, and it's good luck. For Vidro, she fights back tears watching the fighting Phils. Keeping his fair alive, watching these Phils, just want to make me tear because my dad was like so big with the Phillies. Grew up with it. It was amazing. Despite dozens of different stories, everyone in this one bar is coming together for one team, no matter how late they play. Let's go, Philly. We are great fans. We have a little grit, and, you know, the rest of the nation has it coming. And as we're getting closer to the weekend, Wellahans is expecting a lot more people to come for the next game. Live in Haddon Township, Brandon Goldner, CBS3 Eyewitness News. Okay, Brandon, thank you.